Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. How's everyone doing? It's good to be back. So today I'm just doing a bit of a spring clean out around the yard and trying to gather up anything I can that might possibly give us a good show. In my pile of scrap speaker frames, we actually have a pair of speakers that I used in a previous video, but I never ended up blowing up, as funny as that is. They've been sitting outside for years. Does anyone recognize any of the drivers in this pile? There's quite a collection going on here. This is the little party cottage we have going on in the backyard. Here I have these Emerson speakers that just sounded awful. Check out some of the old badges I found in here, as well as this massive pile of voice coil copper. <laughs> Part of the spring clean out, I'm going to be getting this white Mazda B4000 truck out of the yard. It's just for parts, so let's get the last of the parts I need out of it. I really wish I had taken these apart outside since they were making such a massive mess and uh, I felt kind of silly after I realized I didn't need any tools whatsoever to take these things apart because they were just kind of falling apart on their own. <laughs> So here's what we scored from outside. We have the Emerson boombox speaker looking things. They probably came with like a uh, record player kind of unit. They got the old rotten woofers and the tweeters and mid ranges that went along with them. And the old Ford speakers that came out of a Mazda truck. Ooh, how fun. <laughs> but that's not all. What is going on over here? We got a couple pairs of 90s computer speakers. What's this, Altec, Lansing, and Eastern. What the heck? This uh, design looks a little familiar, doesn't it? There's a uh, tube subwoofer here from a car, maybe. Uh, I've never seen anything quite like this before. I'm not even sure what you would call this kind of speaker. It is just totally Chinese and has no rhyme or reason. <laughs> it's just like a Walmart special. This thing is a Polk Audio wireless sub from a soundbar or something. I don't have the soundbar, but... Uh, I found this on the side of the road. Got a no-name little wooden speaker here and a Panasonic surround sound, maybe? All right, let's start things off with some old classic Altec Lansing 90s computer speakers. These are the ACS 21Ws. They fit right at home in a 90s computer setup. Let's hear how they sound. Oh, I don't have the mixer on.
<laughs> it was actually held up awesome. Oh my gosh. As soon as that bass hit, <laughs> it gave me a big uh, puff of smoke in my friggin' face, though. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Ow. Let's jump into something a bit more fun here. This is a Polk Audio wireless soundbar subwoofer. The whole cabinet is made of plastic. And, uh, well, I don't have the soundbar that went with this thing. I actually found this on the side of the road. And uh, it's kind of interesting. You get, like, four channels. wonder what frequency that uses. <laughs> it's like a six and a half inch driver on the bottom with a port. And the port is not made of plastic. It is cardboard. <laughs> Oh, missing a screw. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Walking up now, holy jeez, wow, man. It must have just melted, man. <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> let's give it a full range. Clipping the amp out. Oh, I think I got shocked by that. The frame. Oh, wow. Wow, man. I think it's like still connected somehow, but man. This is unbelievable, this thing. I don't know if I'm going crazy or is it just like still on fire here? Wow. Okay. Dude, I did not expect that kind of performance. <laughs> that is really odd, man. What happened in here? Right. <laughs> Wonder if these uh, lengths were too long and were shorting the amp out, maybe? <laughs> That's the uh, Polk Audio. I'm not sure what... Uh, Sub what came with it. Oh, it says on the side here. The uh, Soundbar 3000. Nice. <laughs> All right, now this boombox thing. Can anyone tell me what the hell these are even for? Like, I could never figure this out. They sell them at Walmart for very cheap. They got two inputs, one for each of these six and a half inch woofers and a piezo horn thing. And uh, they just, don't make any sense to me like where do you use this how do you wire it um yeah any ideas let me know because absolutely baffling to me these things very cheaply made thing like everything just slides out was well, nice blue carpet when it started we have some what i call economy waffles <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's check out the rotten old speakers. I'm dying to know if they even work. Oh. <laughs> I think there's been mice eating these things. What do you think? No, one mid-range is screwed. Let's try the other one. Well, no, they didn't survive. What about a tweeter? <laughs> Nothing. I'm pretty sure I didn't blow these up. Uh, nothing coming from the tweeters and mids, but what about the woofers? Oh, that was the end of the song, but... <laughs> okay, one woofer. Not the total uh, end of the world, I guess. Oh, look at this. Oh, the dust flying off that. <laughs> oh. oh. Whoop. was having a seizure man oh <laughs> we got mechanical fa failure inside <laughs> let me shut this off before i get electrocuted by it again <laughs> man the dust in the air from that i don't know why i didn't expect that so you can see the mechanical failure in here oh yeah So unfortunately, the other driver is actually too far gone too. Look at all the crud inside there behind the spider. How did it, I don't even know how anything got in there. It's just, uh, <laughs> huh. Here we have some Emerson. These are uh, model number SPV5. Oh my, 7.5 watts RMS, eight ohms, made in Malaysia. Very nice. When I had these hooked up in my back cottage, they didn't sound very good. I think it has something to do with the tweeter being absolutely buried in there. Yeah, those are horrible.
So what we have here is a Panasonic home theater in a box kind of surround sound speaker, four ohms, 100 watts max. <laughs> oh my. And this thing is totally, there's no labeling on there whatsoever and I'm not sure if there ever was. <laughs> Let's take a knife and see what the heck we got in here. Whoa! That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Uh, <laughs> huh. I don't know if I've ever seen a speaker that size before. I'm not sure what kind of size that would be. It's like a five by three year. Uh, oh my. Yeah, it's probably five inch by like three, five by, or, well, that's exactly what I guessed, isn't it? What's inside uh, this one here? Oh. Doesn't look too bad, right? This just has like a super vintage <laughs> wow I'm not too sure which uh, channel is what on here oh Yeah, a lot of smoke coming out of there. I'll have to get the uh, ventilation going. Wow. Uh, so it might have been 100 watts. <laughs> pretty thin coil on there, but man, that did pretty well, didn't it? Yeah, whatever. Okay, channel two on the amplifier. I actually want to hear what this sounds like. <laughs> wow, that old coil did very well. That's insane. Oh, <laughs> wonder what kind of speaker that is. Man, the paper on that is so damn fragile. I just touched it. And <laughs> Curious to know if I can figure out what the brand was. We got Square Robertson Screws. So that's probably a Canadian company. Man, anyone knows what that's from, let me know. Cause, yeah, I have no idea. 
So here we have a 2.1 set of old 90s computer speakers. They must be from the 90s. Is there a date on here? 1998. Just at the end of the 90s. Now these look a little familiar, don't they? Like uh, the Bose Cube or whatever. What came first? So we got the Super Woofer. Eastern Multimedia Amplified Super Woofer. Okay. <laughs> so on the back it's just speaker outputs and a RCA input. The volume switch turns it on and you have a bass volume. Now look at these uh, things like I really don't know what's going on in here but uh, let's see what they sound like. Oh. Now these Ford speakers are a real pain to peel the covers off and you can't just shove a screwdriver into the side here, you'll take the whole cone out with it. So what I do is use a knife, do a couple relief cuts. Am I bleeding? Oh, I got blood on it. These stupid grills are real sharp. It's just, yeah, that little guy. <laughs> See what I was talking about there about the <laughs> how you lose the hole. I'll do it for you. <laughs>
and done here. shorting out now here's something a little crazy I noticed we got one pair made in USA one made in Mexico or assembled in Mexico anyway oh well we have one last piece of junk to mess around with I'm not entirely too sure what this even is most likely a subwoofer the bottom here label it says isobaric uh, part number is actually labeled 1995 so <laughs> yeah uh probably from the back of a car or something uh it doesn't sit straight it always wants a tip uh i just i don't i don't understand this we got this midi connector or i want to call it a midi connector but i think they're known as din or maybe something like that uh five pins on it why would there be five pins on a speaker? <laughs> I'm getting blood all over this thing. Where am I even bleeding from now? A couple spots. Those freaking Ford speakers, man. They really cut me up. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything on this side. It looks like there is. But the other side, I can feel a port. Well, you feel two ports. Three. Okay, let's get our... Oh. Huh.
What the heck? <laughs> and this side doesn't have nothing. Comes off like a big uh, plug. <laughs> it's got this perfect. Oh! <laughs> There's a cloud in there. Yeah, this was plugging it perfectly. I guess there's no mice. I didn't see any holes in the stuff <laughs> in the fabric. Oh, Semco, eight ohms, twenty watts. Only two of the wires out of that harness are even plugged in. Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is kind of weird, man. Uh, I can see in there it has uh, foam rot. <laughs> Just a couple cracks. We gotta figure it out. What's in here? <laughs> you know what's funny is that I could absolutely smell like some lady's perfume when I did that. <laughs> smells like her car, probably. <laughs> so there's... Okay, this thing is so weird. It just had three ports. <laughs> Look at this. There's like three ports in there. Cool. Oh, look at that. Man, that is so freaking weird. So remember, I just took this woofer facing this way out of the cabinet. I see another woofer in there looking at me dead in the face. So these things, these woofers were pointing at each other, probably out of phase so they would work with each other. This is just so, huh. So these woofers were mounted like this in here. Uh, one of these guys popped on us already.
Oh. You see where it's uh, zapping out. Where it connects right there. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shorten my amp out here. Dang it. <laughs> these pieces of crap. Now these weren't all that exciting. Oh. Well, that's kind of the problem of using these big amps with uh, little speakers. You kind of melt them. Switch from coffee to beer. Now, I wasn't too impressed with those subwoofers, so I went and looked around the house and I found these Pioneer bookshelf speakers hiding in my bedroom. <laughs> I totally forgot about these things. Not too sure if you could take the covers off or not. Oh, oh my. <laughs> it's got a pretty crazy look to it. So we have the Pioneer SHTD540, <laughs> 100 watts maximum. Let's see here, do not connect to any amplifier other than the one supplied with the system. Connection of any other amplifier may result in malfunction or a fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's uh, the perfect little warning to give us. Now, before we get the amplifier plugged in, I wanna show you a little something I found in that truck that we're scrapping. This was behind the brake light and not connected to anything, but uh, I gave it 12 volts and had a very pleasant surprise. So this was at one time the backup alarm for this truck. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm so glad that still worked. Pretty shrieky sounding things.
Ow. So a day has gone by since my last recording. I finally got everything all cleaned up in here and all the materials separated and whatever. And uh, thanks to a photo I put up on the internet, I ended up with a another victim here. Someone forgot to bring me. <laughs> Look at this thing. So here we have yet another wireless subwoofer for a soundbar. This is for a Vizio or Vizio soundbar. Uh, let's see here, we got a port on the back, 24 volt DC input, and this cool little switch here that's uh, for pairing up the wireless, I suppose. And that's about it. It's uh, okay. What the? <laughs> What's this say? ASI. <laughs> this is a. Vizio soundbar. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard of ASI before. And this does not look like an aftermarket speaker. The screws are. Yeah, it's. That probably came with it. Doesn't look too bad. 3 ohm, 60 watt. We got our little amplifier board in there and I'm guessing that this is the wireless receiver or whatever you call it. Oh my gosh. Ah, is it okay? <laughs> Just drop it off the bench. <laughs> okay, we're all wired up. Let's see what 10 hertz looks like. I can feel the air puffing on me here. Oh yeah, that thing's got some movement. I'm actually starting to smell that thing if you let it cool off a second. I was getting angry about this thing. I thought I blew it up already, but it was the speaker wire I used was part of the video and uh, I broke it in a couple spots. All right, now let's try the 30 Hertz tone. <laughs> 35 Hertz, a little bit better. Six, seven, eight, nine, 40 Hertz. Not very good there either. 45, getting a little louder. 50. Yeah. Got a lot of port turbulence though. Something's whistling. Oh, it's the power uh, switch or power input. box is like tuned for 60. <laughs> Let's go s silly low here. Like five. Five hertz. <laughs> Man, the making smells out the back, but uh, yeah, it seems to be holding up. the uh, screws I didn't put in <laughs> but other than that not really any uh, mechanical noise yet
Hey, this thing's holding up just fine, actually. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, there's some mechanical noise. Amps clipping away there. <laughs> there we go. Good to see something with a little action finally. Oh, dude. Mm. <laughs> the cone melted off the coil. Oh, well, this is interesting. The coil's now inside here, still wound up. I think the basket's still hooked up here. This is pretty funny. That driver was awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of copper in that thing. What is that, like a six and a half inch or something? And <laughs> Still puffing smoke out the back, directly into the amp. Dumping out smoke still. <laughs> well, I guess that's about all for this pile of junk. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to give the video a like, drop a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have yourself a great day.